genital herpes. Not the easiest topic of conversation for most people. But genital herpes is really common. In fact, over 18 million people in the U.S. have genital herpes. So chances are that you know someone who has genital herpes, and many people don't even know they have it. Wait, how is it possible to have genital herpes and not even know? In this video, we'll answer this question and more as we discuss the signs and symptoms of genital herpes. First, what is genital herpes? Genital herpes is caused by the herpes simplex virus, or HSV for short. When the virus enters the body, it can do a few different things. For a lot of people, the virus doesn't cause any signs or symptoms at all. This is what we call an asymptomatic infection. This can be a problem because people won't know they have genital herpes, and they won't know that they need to take measures to prevent spreading genital herpes to others. But some people with genital herpes do have symptoms. HSV can cause painful sores or blisters on the skin or on the lining of the genital organs. Sores can develop on the thighs or buttocks, on the penis or vulva, or near the anus. These sores have a different appearance for each individual, but they commonly start as groups of small red bumps or blisters that can progress to painful areas of damaged skin. While a lot of people have these painful sores, they can also have small tears in the skin, rashes or blemishes that could be confused with a pimple or insect bites or even jock itch. The first time any of these skin changes develop, they can last for about two to four weeks before they completely go away. General herpes can also make someone feel sick. You may have fevers, headaches, muscle aches, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, especially near your groin, and even pain during urination. So what happens next? Eventually, your body will manage to get the virus under control, but it doesn't completely eliminate it. In fact, the virus goes into hiding in the nerves near your pelvis. This ability of HSV to persist in your body is really important. Remember how we said that once you have genital herpes, you have it for life? Well, this is the reason why. Because HSV hides away in the nerve cells forever, the sores can also keep coming back over and over again. The good news is that the virus will stay hidden for long periods of time without causing any symptoms. We call this the virus being inactive, but it can become active again, and when it does, the sores or blisters or other skin changes we discussed can come back. These are called outbreaks. However, these outbreaks are usually shorter and less extreme than the first time. And just like for the first infection, sometimes HSV can be active in the body and you won't have any symptoms at all. HSV can cause severe symptoms, so it's very important that people whose immune systems are compromised, especially those living with HIV, avoid getting genital herpes. Phew, that's a lot about genital herpes. Here's a quick recap. Genital herpes is caused by the herpes simplex virus, or HSV, and it's spread from human to human through sex. Once you have genital herpes, you have it for life but it impacts everyone differently. Genital herpes can cause blisters, sores, or other skin changes on the genitals, thighs, or buttocks. They are often mistaken for something else. These go away on their own in two to four weeks, but medication from your healthcare provider can make them go away faster. After symptoms resolve, HSV remains in the body, inactive for long periods of time. But people with genital herpes can develop similar symptoms again in the future. People with genital herpes can still spread HSV to their sexual partners even if they don't have any symptoms. Avoid sex when you do have symptoms and always use condoms when you don't. Reach out to your healthcare provider if you have questions or concerns or visit some of these websites below for more information.